Pseudomonarchia Demonum, by Johann Weyer, a 16th-century Dutch physician and demonologist, stands as a significant text in the history of demonology and occult literature. Originally published in Latin in 1563 as an appendix to his more famous work, The Prestigious Demonum, on the tricks of demons, it catalogues and describes various demons and their attributes. Weyer's work is emblematic of the cultural and intellectual milieu of his time, marked by a curious blend of scientific inquiry, religious fervor, and fascination with the supernatural. At its core, Pseudomonarchia Demonum reflects the Renaissance era's complex engagement with both the rational and the mystical. One notable aspect of Weyer's text is its organization. The demons are classified hierarchically, reminiscent of the celestial hierarchy found in Christian angelology. This hierarchical structure suggests an attempt to systematize and comprehend the seemingly chaotic realm of demons, mirroring the broader Renaissance project of imposing order upon the natural and spiritual worlds. Moreover, Weyer's descriptions of the demons are detailed and vivid, betraying a keen observational eye and a literary flair. Each demon is depicted with its name, attributes, powers, and sometimes anecdotes or historical references associated with it. This attention to detail not only serves to distinguish one demon from another but also lends an air of authenticity to the text, reinforcing Weyer's claim of empirical investigation into the occult. Yet, despite its ostensibly empirical approach, Pseudomonarchia Demonum is deeply entrenched in the theological framework of its time. Weyer, a devout Christian, believed in the existence of demons as fallen angels, and his work reflects a Christian understanding of demonic entities as malevolent spiritual beings opposed to God and humanity. Thus, while Weyer may have sought to demystify demons through classification and description, he nevertheless reinforces their status as agents of evil in the Christian cosmology. Furthermore, Pseudomonarchia Demonum can be read as a cautionary text, warning against the dangers of dabbling in the occult. Weyer himself, despite his interest in demonology, was critical of witch hunts and the persecution of supposed witches, arguing that many accused individuals were simply suffering from mental illness or the effects of superstition. In this light, Weyer's catalog of demons may serve as a means of educating readers about the various manifestations of evil while simultaneously discouraging them from engaging in occult practices that could potentially lead to spiritual and psychological harm. The enduring legacy of Pseudomonarchia Demonum lies in its influence on subsequent generations of occultists and scholars. While Weyer's work was not without its critics, both during his lifetime and in later centuries, it nonetheless contributed to the development of demonological literature and provided a framework for understanding and interpreting demonic entities. Moreover, Pseudomonarchia Demonum continues to fascinate and captivate readers today, serving as a window into the intellectual and spiritual currents of the Renaissance. In conclusion, Pseudomonarchia Demonum by Johann Weyer occupies a unique place in the history of demonology and occult literature. Combining elements of scientific inquiry, theological reflection, and literary craftsmanship, Weyer's text offers a systematic catalog of demons while also reflecting the cultural and intellectual currents of the Renaissance era. Its enduring legacy underscores the enduring fascination with the supernatural and the eternal quest to comprehend the mysteries of the unseen world.